G'day, Luke from Drifter here, and we're down uh, the main street of Gloucester, 8.30 Tuesday morning, and uh, we're going to have a look through our new shop, so this is the deer behind me, um, this is the main street, and we're just near the roundabout, so if you're heading sort of north on the Gloucester, we're just before the roundabout, there's only one roundabout in town, and we're just near that, so very easy to find. Um, yeah, so come and Jake, we'll have a bit of a look. <coughs> We're coming to Gloucester as well. The back of the shop, right, if you come down here, hit the roundabout and turn left, and then the next left again, there's heaps of parking out the back. You can park caravans, motorhomes, anything you like. There's lots of parking around the back. So come down the main street, and everything on that side of the main street, there's heaps of room, right? So that's where you want to be if you want to park. Yeah, a little opportunity come up a few months ago. We've had the Brendale shop and it's going really well. Rob and the boys are doing a brilliant job and Kylie. You know, um, we've learned a lot from the shop in Brendale and uh, the opportunity came up to open one in our hometown of Gloucester. We've been here 16 years and uh, we employ 100 staff directly at Drifter at our factory, which is just out the road. So on the industrial side of Gloucester is our factory. Um, but we've never been open weekends. We've, you know, we all have big weeks and Friday three o'clock the place is closed and everyone's coming through here Friday afternoon and on the weekends and we've never been open. Um, you know, we've always been manufacturers as well. We've been manufacturing stuff for 20 years and recently we've been moving more into retail. So, you know, um, just thought it'd be a great chance. You know, Gloss has been very good to Drifter. It's a beautiful little town, absolutely gorgeous town. You know, <clears throat> it's a little bit out of the way but it's an awesome place to come to as a destination. You know, from Sydney, it's only three hours. From Newcastle, an hour and a half. And it's not far off the freeway if you're heading north and south. So, you know, come here and stay the weekend, have a look around. There's lots to do. There's beautiful freshwater rivers. There's heaps to do. Forward driving camping everywhere. And uh, now we've got a shop in the main street. So, right, well, let's go and have a look. <coughs> Yeah, so it's been a massive job the last few weeks or last month or so getting this set up. Um, building a shop is a big thing. And luckily we've got a team of cabinet makers out at our factory where we can do the shop fitting ourselves, which is really good. So what I'm going to do is just walk around, say good day, a couple of staff, and show you some of the things that's on display and for sale in stock at our Drifter HQ store. As soon as you walk in here, we've got some leather gear. We've got our uh, Australian made uh, woolen blankets from Tasmania with our nice little leather blanket strap. Um, so we've got those here, beautiful woolen blankets. That's the last remaining blanket factory in Australia. So great to support them. Waverley Mills, awesome company down in Tasmania. They've been going, I think, over 120 years or something. We've got our leather belts on display. All right, so these are really nice belts. They're handcrafted by Kai, our, our leather leatherman uh, at the factory. So. Now if you came here, <coughs> Kai's working all week, if you come here and we didn't have the right size, you could let Mark know and we could basically make one up for you pretty quickly. So if you're here in town for a, a few hours and during the week certainly, we could make up one for you. Uh, our stubby holders, standard little raffer, we've got those. It's a bit different one. It's raffer as well. Beautiful leather, handcrafted stubby holders with the laser engraving. It's a new product which is an update for our firewood bag which has got the uh, leather straps on it as well. So, And of course our axes. You know, as a big seller our axes. These are Halterforce axes made in Sweden. And we dress them up with our handle protector and our handmade leather axe sheet. So big seller of these, we've got them in stock. There's three sizes, a 650, a 720 and the, the big 800 I think it is. Uh, yeah, so that's this gear here. <coughs> leather Copper Canvas is a new brand we've come up with. Right, uh, Leather Copper Canvas, which is, you know, what we're doing with this sort of gear, okay? Copper rivets, leather, and our canvas. So, something that's sort of grown over time. And if you buy any of this Leather Copper Canvas gear, you get one of these information sheets which sort of tells you about where it'll come from. So. Um, yeah, it says 25 years ago I was roaming Queensland looking for work 
after working on potato farms in Kalani and Warwick, I picked up a job as a tour guide at a horse riding place in Mungully Falls near Atherton, North Queensland. After working 12 months, I moved to Julia Creek and worked on a cattle station at Malonga. It was here I saw ringers and stockmen with plaited whips, belts and knife pouches. I sp had spent my youth tanning kangaroo and fox skin, so I was used to working with leather, but hadn't ever worked with roulace. After a season on the station, I moved to Cairns to work on a new casino being built as a brickies labourer. Walking home one afternoon, I found a leather shop in the main street of Cairns. Ron Edwards had a store there, and he's a very well known at bushcraft, and has written many books about, the, about bushcraft. And actually, that's his book there. So that's the first book I ever bought. On, I bought that from Ron Edwards. So he has a shop in Cairns. Now he's got a shop in, uh, um, where is it? Just up the range, Coranda. So um, I hope he's still around. Ron, haven't heard from him for a long time, but that's the belt the book that I first bought from Ron and Ron taught me how to make plaited belts so I would go back there every afternoon and he would show me tips so we've got these in the store if you wanted to learn how to make plaited belts that's the book you need I'll do a video later on also to show you because I've learned a lot of tips but yeah so uh, Ron was a master platter and he taught me to plait kangaroo hide belts over a few weeks I'd call in every day during my lunch break and show my work and he'd offer tips how to improve the belts I made many belts and soon after went to America where, I, where almost like busking, sat on a street corner plaiting belts for sale in Los Angeles to earn money for travelling. Uh, before buying a motorbike and heading up to Washington State where I got a job as a mule packer in the Cascade Mountain Range. My boss Claude Miller was a third generation mule packer and his stables were full of years and years of old tack and saddles, broken or needing repairing. I spent all my spare time in the, his big old stables repairing and fixing all the leather gear. It was here I learned the value and strength of copper rivets, many being used for saddle making. So when I come to design the action, that's where the uh, copper rivets came from. That's a saddle making copper rivet. And what I learned in the saddleries in, the, uh, in uh, America is where I, got, I learned how to do this leather craft. <clears throat> 20 years later, my company Drifter had a canvas division making many canvas bags for the camping four drive scene, all designed myself from simply finding situations where I really needed a quality bag for the camping gear I was using. Australian canvas is the best canvas in the world and we were very fortunate to have Wax Inverters factory close by, so we quickly developed a relationship with the factory owners and learned many things about the textile industry. Also travelling around the world for business, I slowly developed and designed a high quality range of canvas series travel bags using Australian canvas, copper rivets and leather trim. Also, kangaroo lacing is inco <coughs> incorporated in the handles of some of the bags. The same leather as used in plating belts. So thank you for choosing our LCC Leather Copper Canvas Premium Travel Series Canvas Bag. There is 25 years of Luke the Drifter roaming, learning, living, experience and passion in each of these bags, all handmade in our Drifter HQ factory. So there you go. So that's these bags here. Um, premium Weekend, they were selling a lot of these. Uh, there's a ton of work, 75 rivets, and here you can see the leather trim. So that's kangaroo hide, same as we use for plating belts. Um, so that's our leather copper canvas range of travel bags. That's our premium weekender. Uh, you get that with a little toiletry bag and uh, the coffee bag or another toiletry bag. So those two come with the kit. Another new one we've come up with is a small ladies sort of purse uh, carry bag. So nice little handles. So I haven't used this one myself, but that's a pretty cool little bag. We're actually selling a few of those, which is really good. <coughs> this is our new carry-on bag. Okay, so it comes with a shoulder strap. A little detail in that, so we've got a nice uh, wide shoulder strap there. Okay, so that is a, is a carry-on. It's got a single handle. You can unclip the strap. And uh, yeah, I've been using that a bit recently. Got a pocket there. <coughs> so that's a really nice bag. Um, we can do those in the black, green, a few different colours. Here's a black version which looks really nice. This is another bag that we're doing with our new uh, press stud. Okay, so it's got a drifter press stud on there. That's we're doing that a lot now. And this is a really nice bag as well. A bag like this is what I use all the time now instead of a backpack, basically. Um, got the handles here. So we've got lots of options of those. 
another new one here, sort of a just a really nice tote bag, shopping or carrying to the beach or just carrying around. So nice leather straps. <clears throat> this is our new shoulder bag, another one that I'm using. Okay, pockets for when you're traveling, a pen, passport, pockets on the back. Pockets are a big thing, so I've been adding more and more pockets to these, these uh, bags um, all the time as I'm designing them. So pockets inside. <clears throat> and the little uh, EDC as well. And you can see that with this new canvas. This used to be all canvas and, and just a w black webbing. Now I've got different colours, brown binding, LCC, leather. It's a really nice um, product. So that's a great little EDC bag just for wallet, keys, passport, etc. when you're travelling. All these are here, available on display. Uh, so that's the LCC range, which has got leather and copper. These are their standard canvas bags. Um, heaps here in stock. There's the new wheel cover bags and the tailgate bags. That's the bag that goes on the twin, the tailgate of twin cabs, which is uh, really going well. And our wheel cover bags. All the rest of our range of bags, we've basically got all, all of them here. Uh, on display, in stock, and uh, so you can come through and have a look at them all. More bags here. I mean, canvas is a big part of what we do. We've got over 300 different bags in our range, some in many colours. You can see here, camo, pink, grey, green. We've got blue, a lot of different colours. So we've pretty much got bags for every situation, and uh, you can see them all here and have a play and touch and feel. The big thing, you know, about a shop is to be able to come and touch and feel. You might not want to come and purchase things right on the day you're here, but you can at least touch and feel and have a look at the quality and get an idea of what Drift is all about. And, uh, you know, if you're going home, you want to buy All this is available, of course, online as well. And um, so it's a great environment where you can come and really have a good browse, feel the quality, and find out what Drift is all about. Um, these new buckets are going really well, so they're on display, Australian made. Uh, PVC buckets, very handy. Uh, this little area here is our discount area. Got to get this sign up. <clears throat> Reduced to clear. So we've got some bags that are some products that have been discontinued. Snow Peak discontinues. You know they've got a huge range and they often discontinue products such as uh, these bags here. So we're just going to mark them down to cost or below cost. Or sometimes we've had with our bags. You know, we've accidentally, uh, we're getting all this stuff CMC cut, so we might have accidentally got, uh, for whatever reason, you know, a hundred of these cut, and we just don't sell that many of the pink sleeping bags small. So we just mark them down, that's $47 down to $39, you know, or $29. So we've marked down, we've got a little bit of excess stock that we're not selling much of, we're trying to clear out. Um, so that's this area here. You know, a bit of snow peak gear that's um, been discontinued from the factory in Japan. Um, this side as well, <coughs> some great stuff. The Revo tarps from Uniflame, we've got a bit of video of those, but most people are going for the Hexa from Snow Peak. But these are awesome value tarps, we've got those on special. Also these packing cells, so heaps of gear here you can come in and get a good bargain. This is reduced down the cost or below cost on many items. Um, yeah, how are you going guys? Yeah, morning Luke. Good, mate. So, uh, this is Stephanie, and uh, yeah, Steph is working for Kai in the leather department, and she does all the leather, um, all the leather straps now, aren't you, Steph? So, here every Tuesday, and uh, the rest of the time, building all the leather, copper canvas, aren't you? So, yep. that's working out really well. How long have you been here? Six months or something? Almost started in July. Mm. Do you think you're going to end up making leather, leather bags, leather handle bags? It's good, eh? It's yeah, fun. you're doing a great job. So, um, yeah, so now Steph's down here every uh, for, uh, Tuesday and often on weekends as well, which is pretty cool. And Mark, everybody knows Mark. So, mate, um, yeah, come from the little shop in Gloucester to the big shop downtown, like from the factory all we had. Didn't have a lot yeah, of room there. It's a huge improvement. Yeah, yeah, it's really great. We only had a tiny little area, which is sort of more of a waiting room, wasn't it? And, pretty um, well. Now we can show everything in, uh, everybody can touch and feel and mm. check out everything. Mm. And it's really like just range. going gangbusters, isn't it? Like, going how on. many people reckon we had here Saturday? Just like two, uh, three The place was top. Yeah. yeah, it was really top. Was just, yeah. Mark come down for a look, he wasn't even working. Come down for a look and he was here for four hours just flat out because the shop was just packed. So, yeah. 
Absolutely. You know, we're going to have a third staff on weekends now because, you know, a lot of people come through town on weekends. Gloss is a beautiful place. Lots of people come through camping for driving. Bike Lots riders. to do here, motorbikes and that. So uh, it's the ideal place for us. Um, and these are going well, that little uh, offer yeah. we've got. Yeah, the hashtag. Uh, drip yeah, the so HQ we've got store. these free little coasters. Okay, the only place you can get these at the moment is in the Gloucester HQ store right here. So if you come in, grab one of these, take a photo, tag it, tag us on Facebook or Instagram, and you can have one of these worth about ten bucks. But it's a unique coaster you can only get in the store. So we've got stock of those. Limited edition. All right, mate, we're going to keep walking around and have okay. a look. Right. Creaky, bring the kitchen in, did he? Um, yeah, him and James are working on that, so oh, yeah, it should cool. be in place. Yeah, yep. cool. Uh, here we've got all the um, axes and silky. So silky's a big seller, all right? And uh, here's a place where you can come and really have a good look at them. Got the Katana boys, the big boys. What's the biggest seller on these, Mark? Would be the red handle big boy? Yeah, or? red handle big boy, then the uh, curved blade <coughs> goes well too. So. The yellow one, yeah. 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 And uh, the little gone boy sells the right too sometimes, doesn't it? Yep, yep. And these are the three axes here in our range. So the 650, 720 and the 820. Yep, 650 is the best seller by far. It's yeah. very versatile, uh, useful axe. Yep, one shorten, hand, two hands. Shorten it up. Beautiful uh, craft work on those. And then you've got the Snedden. Yep, uh, little feet. Australian made axes there up the top here. Yep. So uh, lately made. Australian made axes here. So that's a nice board there. We've got some really cool new Leatherman as well. Right, let's have a look up the front here on this side. We've got a heap of charcoal. Charcoal is becoming a big part of what we do and what uh, the Drifter fans are doing. Cooking with charcoal. We've got the Pitt Brothers charcoal here, the Gigi Australian made charcoal, and also the Japanese charcoal, which is uh, really cool to see the difference and use a bit. In the case, not that expensive, but Japanese charcoal is really nice to use as well. Fire pits here, bigger selling, Snow Peak, Liquid Drifter Combo, we've got those in stock. The medium, the Uniflame fire pits are really good. Um, these are a really good option, so for a fire pit like that, you're talking $100, okay, for that whole kit there. Uniflame is really good value, it's very light, and uh, so if you're just looking for an entry level, there's nothing wrong with these, really good little unit. Um, where the Snow Peak is uh, you know, a lot more expensive. Uh, most people end up with one of these, but these are a good little unit to get into. Uh, uni oven, so we've got these now, and we've got the uni bag, right? So that can go over your shoulder, all right? <coughs> and because these unis, this is a small one, doesn't come with uh, a bag at all. So you can see they've got everything inside. And you've got a lot of small bits and pieces with this, a lot of small parts, so they're all in this bag. The little temperature gauge, everything's in there. So we've done it this way, there's two bags, that fits on top. All right. And also, the uh, plate is important to protect that, so the plate's sitting in here. And there's a timber piece here to protect that plate as well, you can see that, so that's nice and uh, protected. So that's the uni bag. Uh, the, the Uniflame <coughs> stainless steel campfire tables. Very big sellers, very popular item. And uh, this is the, the one that Uniflame made for Drifter fans. Okay, after coming to our fan event, they realised that this one for Australian people, a little bit on the small side, we, they gave us the option of the bigger one. And they're selling really well. So beautiful quality, made in Japan. We've got both sizes. Those are in stock. So this is our area here for most of the Snow Peak. The Snow Peak here and Uniflame here. A lot of the small things, cups, plates, mugs. We've got a big range of, of gear. The beautiful chop boards from Snow Peak. Okay, very high quality, um, beautiful designs. Lots and lots of mugs. We've got stacks of titanium dual skin mugs. Uh, stainless steel cutlery from Snow Peak. Silicon gear. Um, heaps of the mugs. So there's a big range of stuff you can browse through. Um, a lot of hiking gear like the uh, titanium pots and pans. Uh, so we've finally got this all looking nice. The Uniflame camp ovens. Uh, three sizes, spun steel. And this is the Uniflame gear here. So uh, stainless steel, double skin, wave mugs and cups. We've got the drifter cups, really nice. 
it's awesome quality gear. The Unifoam, a little bit, a little bit uh, cheaper price comparatively to Snowpeak, and you know they're a little bit different products. But got some really cool stuff. Again, high quality Japanese made. Uh, over this side, we've got sort of a coffee area. So our coffee bags and our coffee. All right, the drifter coffee, locally brewed. Coffee bags, fit all your gear in there. Um, a lot of different ways to brew coffee with the drippers. We've got uh, Uniflame and Snowpeak grinders, um, percolators. Drift, there's a percolator here somewhere. Should be here. And I don't think we've shown this before, but this is becoming a good seller. So it's the um, Snowpeak Camper bottle. We've had one of these for years. Got a really nice zipper on it. Okay, just an insulated mug. It's also got a, a lid you can screw on there, totally, you know, leak proof and um, so great for soup, but yeah, these are really nice. So, very nice set, those. All right, what else? This side we've got the pegs. So, the Snowpeak range of pegs, quite difficult to get hold of these, but we've got stock at the moment. Beautiful pegs. Uh, the hammers, copperhead hammers. And uh, they are lovely to use. The copper end on the end of those is just, it sort of grips really well on the peg, doesn't slip off and uh, takes a bit of the impact out of it. So it's sort of hard to describe until you've used it and you can see how good they are. Got a nice range of Uniflame uh, stainless steel and aluminium pegs. So a lot of time if you're pegging out uh, annex matting or an Oz tent, you need a stack of short pegs, you know, and these are quite cheap. Aluminium, very high quality and lightweight. Um, so these are really good values. So there's a pack of six of those. So these are awesome for yeah pegging out annex matting. Very light, um, high quality Uniflame. Here we've got Jetboil. Got some cool new products from Jetboil, um, which has just only just been released. So we've got a cooking pot, really nice there, and that comes off the bottom. So a cooking pot and a skillet. <coughs> really nice little fry pan skillet that goes on top and to do that there's a small attachment you need which is here somewhere yeah it's not here anyway so the jet boils are very popular we've got uh, jet boil bags uh, which is also a big seller the little uh, uniflame toaster is a big seller so it's probably one of our in terms of numbers one of our best sellers it's um, a great little toaster, it folds up really small. All right. It's the best way of cooking two pieces of toast on top of uh, a gas ring. And uh, it just folds up like that, it goes in a little bag, so great little item. And here's the Uniflame cook set, the DX5, okay. Teflon coated uh, fry pan, all stacks in, you've got a rice cooker as well in there. And so rice cooker and a really nice little colander. So great set, very good value. And that's all fits into that one there. Uh, the spun steel new flame fry pan. All right, around here, we've got the very popular charcoal starters. Okay, it's one of the first new flame products I found when I was in, when I visited their factory in Japan. And I saw that on the wall and I'm like, that is exactly what we need because we didn't have a charcoal starter, Snowpeak doesn't have one, or they don't have a very good one, and uh, we couldn't get hold of it, but this is brilliant, okay, not too expensive, it lasts forever, high quality, that's what starts the charcoal, it's just put a fire ladder on the ground, set that on top, and it'll start. Now they've released a bigger one as well, um, which is really good. It's got smokers, smokers, Uniflame's got a great range of smokers, okay, so they all fold up, and this is a new one here as well, which folds up very easily as well. So that all there folds up in a box that size for a bag. So, you know, um, we're selling a lot of these in America, the smokers, particularly this new one. And so light, small, easy to pack, easy to set up. And yeah, they're very popular in America. These are a new product from uh, Pit Brothers. And it's uh, bourbon infused smoker brick. So if you're smoking, you chuck one of those in. And you can even just chuck them in with the charcoal when you're cooking your steak. So just cool to have, they're not expensive. And you can just throw them in, yeah, the charcoal is pretty cool. It's got a beautiful bourbon flavor, you know. Um, so smokers are here. 
This is our ARB section, so we've been able to team up with ARB in Newcastle and offer some of the ARB range. So we've got hoses, the new jump starter kit, which is really nice. Selling quite a few of these air compressor kits, so it's a box all ready to go. The popular uh, digital gauge, quickie deflator, or the easy deflator, and tyre kits, and the aluminium air tank. So, uh, so much better if you can have a little air tank built in somewhere. Some ARB gear there, also the Sky Dome. Uh, what else? This side here is got some the snake bite kits and the first aid kits. We've got a nice range of those. A little S binders, and these are our drifter straps. Okay, so I've got them here on display. Um, so we, we make these ourselves. It's military webbing. It's uh, stainless steel carabiners. Alright, and of course you can just hook that on. They're never going to come off on your roof rack, okay? So it's always a problem. The other good thing with them, you can loop around anything and hook on there as well. That's a big problem with normal uh, ratchet straps that are not carabiners. You do that and they just slip straight off. So uh, very handy and we're selling a lot of those. They're not cheap, but you know, keep in mind stainless steel high quality carabiners are not a cheap item. You know, you go into a marine shop and you pay 20 bucks for one of those, you know, and there's four of them in a kit and the kit's 60 bucks, you know, so literally we get those, of course, we've got to buy a thousand at a time, they're very expensive, but that's where all the money is, in military webbing and uh, high quality ratchet, and these are the big costs, the stainless steel carabiners. Got a bit of a waiting area here because a lot of the drift uh, customers who are getting the drawers fitted are going to be uh, you know, waiting two, three, four or more hours. So there's a nice area here where you can sit down and relax, watch some drifter videos, and uh, that's playing all day. So uh, if you've missed out on any drifter videos, now's the time to sit down and have a look. Um, this is a new bag we've got. I was down here at the shop the other day, and a lady walked in and she wanted a <coughs> she wanted a weekender bag, but she just wanted um, just to put gear in really. So we do have a gear bag, but it's 12 ounce canvas. So she wanted to know if she could buy a weekender bag without the pockets. I'm like, well, that's not a bad idea. Because the weekender bags are like 145 bucks or so. And uh, so what this is, is a weekender with no pockets, right? We've got, I'm going to make them $99. So $45 cheaper than a standard weekender. There's no pockets on the outside and no pockets on the inside. It's just a, an open uh, weekender bag. So I think that'll be popular. You can get it in any colour uh, trim. So then if you've got a couple of kids and you can see whose bag's what. And we've also got the new uh, Drifter logo. That's our Drifter logo there. So Drifter Camping 4 Drive, made in Gloucester, New South Wales, 100% Australian canvas. And also now, 20 years in 2020, our new Australian logo. So, Jake's going to put those on the web. And they'll be down on display in the shop. Yeah, I think they'll be really good. Uh, also got some cool new products from Oricom. So this has just been released. Their, their what is it, uh, TPS 9i. And what this is goes on the dash of your vehicle, tells you tyre pressure and also temperature. And now these need to be uh, embedded or put inside your tyres from a tyre fitter. All right. So they're all marked left, left front, for example, and they'll read from a battery to this here. This has got uh, solar on the top. So we've, we've looked at both versions. They do also have the one that screws onto your, ex your cap externally, but you know, you really need to have a lock nut on there and do that up with a very small spanner to lock them on, otherwise they can come off and whatever. Now, I've never really been a fan of the idea of that big bulky sort of cap, the weighty cap on the outside. If you, you know, churn it through mud or whatever, they could get caught and uh, they, they have been known to rip out. So I think the internal ones, we, we've tried the other ones, we're just not really happy with them. Kaido put them on his truck going out for, uh, Kaido put them on his truck the other day, went down to Stockton, and then he just ended up not using them. He took them off because it's such a pain, you gotta get your spanner out and undo, undo them every time you wanna let air in and out, which sort of defeats the purpose, I think. These ones are brilliant though, you just put them in there, you never, never have to worry about them again, and they're reading all the time. So we're only gonna sell those. Not expensive, and they're a great high quality unit. Very simple, just it goes, and there's hardly any programming, so they're a really nice unit to use. And we've got some nice, um, just you know, good quality little um, UHF handheld kit. These have also got 
So if you're four-wheel driving, you're trying to, you know, guide, you know, your mates up and down tracks, picking lines for them, it's handy to have that. You, a lot of people filming themselves these days as well, so you don't have to, you can put that in your pocket and you can just use this here, which we use a lot. So um, they're pretty cool. Nice uh, protected case. It's got those as well. Out the back here, we've got a display of uh, Interflates, okay? Another awesome product, exclusive Australian dealers. We can send these around the world. Um, Interflate is the dual tyre inflator, so yeah, you hook up both lines to each tyre and um, inflate and deflate from the one point. So they're very good on display here. This is our yeah, recovery area. So this is the old bull bar from my 76, uh, after we got the new ARB one. And we've got all the Factor 55 gear here on display. So the Ultra Hook, very popular. Um, super high quality from America. The hitch link, very good. Super light. So if you go, you know, this sort of thing in steel as opposed to the alloy, you're saving a stack of weight. Okay, so that's what it's all about. Very high quality, saving a heap of weight and also soft shackle friendly. Okay, all this stuff is made for soft shackles, which is very important. Everyone's getting soft shackles these days. We've got our uh, rings. These are not quite ready yet, but we are making them uh, right as we speak. So we've got our drifter ring, all right, uh, which is there. So these, these are made by Lovells down in Newcastle, anodized in the central coast. And uh, we're getting these re-rated to 12 tonne, testing them at the moment. And uh, so we'll hopefully be able to rate them at 12. Also got the red winch, these are high quality alloy uh, made in um, England. All right, we import them from England, so very nice quality. Um, they've got a bigger range as well. We're only going to do the one size. These have got a 5, an 8, 12, and also an 18. So super high quality. We've still got these in stock, still going to sell them. We're still selling a lot of these. If you wanted a second one, I mean, a lot of people carry two um, snatch blocks. If you wanted a second one, then a little 5 tonne would be ideal, okay, because that's all you need a lot of the time. So they're in stock on display, and I've also set up a little section here, so you can see, because a lot of people ha uh, find it hard to visualise how that actually works. So that's it there, so it runs around your winch, okay, double line pull, back onto your recovery point, runs through a soft shackle, and uh, so we've sort of got that there, you can see what's going on. Also our bridles have become a big seller, alright, we learned that from the Cape trip and, and used them on the Simpson, very popular, and that's your bridle there, right? So if you're going forward driving, you know, you see it on Nolan Brook all the time, up in the Cape, people drive in, they get bogs, they get stuck, they're, and uh, well, you're driving a bog hole and you, you're gonna be literally underwater or in a mud hole trying to hook up to your recovery point, and you wanna get out of there fairly quick. So with these, the idea, if you're going forward driving, hook up to two front recovery points with soft shackles, that can stay there while you're on your trip, and if you get bogs in a big hole, pull it off, hook up, where you go. So, very good. And it also, of course, distributes your load um, evenly, which is a lot better for your vehicle if you're snatching. And it's also just a short four metre winch extension as well. So if you're a little bit short on your winch pull, you can pull off this as well for your uh, double line pull. So it's a very versatile rope. Uh, soft shackles. <coughs> Making a lot of soft shackles now. That's our dad of big dog. So we've got the big dog here, which is a 20 ton. No. Yeah, that's it, 20 ton. Australian made rope. It's a 20 ton. All right, and that's what we're calling the big dog, and that's the dad of big dog. So uh, not on the website yet. We've got to put these on shortly. That's a 40 tonner. Okay, you've had these rated, tested, and hasn't broken at 41 ton. All right, now it's a big soft shackle. A lot of people won't need that, but if you wanted to get one of those, you can. Somebody with a, you know, twin cab 79, Tana Carav off-road caravan, you know, maybe you could use that. So we're doing those. Uh, 20 ton Australian soft shackle. Um, in our kit, we're doing a soft shackle kit. It's nice to have one that's a little bit higher rated. So the ideal thing to do would be a couple of 14 tons and 120, okay? Now, so we've got that in two options, an Australian, Australian made rope and a Chinese rope, okay? That's the two options there. So a little bit cheaper, um, but 
All of them are tied here in Australia. We make those ourselves. So Kai, myself and Kai are making all these at our factory. So 20 tonnes. The greens are 20 tonne here. And these ones here, all right, we've got the yellow. These are our most common ones. Yellow, black, and blue. All right, these are all 14 tonne. And really, that's going to do 90% of the market and 90% of, of things you want to do with soft shackles is a 14 tonne. You know, if, we've, if you ever break one of these, I'll just simply replace it, okay? I don't think anyone will ever break one. And uh, 14 tonne is really all you need in most situations, okay? Um, so, tied in Australia, uh, we've got here Chinese rope, the yellow one, Thai rope and Australian rope. All exactly the same, same knot. Um, the difference is just the price, okay? So you might be talking $55, we're doing these for $49 and $79 for the Australian ones, right? So if you like Australian made gear, which we do, then you can go for the blue one. It's a really nice rope as well. Uh, if you want to go a little bit cheaper, you know, sometimes you might need four, five, six soft shackles, then you can go some cheap ones if you like too. If you're not sure though, 14 tonnes all you need, and we've got plenty of those in stock. Still got the bubble rope as well, okay? So we've got these here. Um, one of the, you know, they're a beautiful soft shackle. The bubble rope, we've sold lots of those, still selling them. Um, Australian do dollar's dropping a lot against the American, and every time it drops, we need to put our prices up. There's nothing we can do. So it's one of the reasons I sort of got into making our own range. But we've still got all the bubble rope, plenty here, very nice soft shackle, and the dead man as well, okay? Selling a lot of these, also a very nice soft shackle. Um, what we do as well is all of our, all of our shackles are, are rated, of course, and on the back of the packet is uh, the testing, right? So uh, black 14 tonne, which this is, soft shackle. You can see it being tested, and this, this here, it hasn't broken. So at 14 tonne, right, 143 kilonewtons is 14 tonne. 60 seconds, it has not broken, you can see. So we'll rate them as minimum breaking strain, 14 tonne. The actual breaking strain on these is about 17 tonne. Okay, so we rate them as a fair, you know, safety factor. There's no working load limit on, on this sort of recovery gear. There's no recommended one. So we're working off minimum breaking strain, okay, and we're underrating them as well. So you can see that each of these tests shows a little bit different line. Um, because of just basically what you see there is when the, the knot is sort of stretching or tightening, okay? And uh, that's shown on the back of every packet of, of shackle, okay? So, um, another big thing is sleeves, okay? The, the, the secret really of the soft shackle is, is the sleeve because uh, they can get worn, they can wear, and in, we talked a lot about that too, the, the coating. One of the good things with the Chinese rope, it's got a very good coating, a very tough coating. And, you know, every rope that you buy and every soft shackle you buy is going to be a little bit different, okay? Too soft and they're going to get worn easily. Uh, too hard and they're just too hard to use and too stiff. But the sleeve is what protects them as well, okay? You can see here on recovery points, important to have a sleeve, okay? Um, and I believe for sure that the Drifter sleeve is the best one on the market. And good thing is it's replaceable. We sell these $6, something like that. If you need, if you do wear a sleeve, whatever, wear a sleeve out, you can buy another one. Nobody else sells sleeves that are, that are replaceable, right? So, and this is the same tough polyethylene material we use on our drawers. Three mil, very tough, and it's actually, you know, it's a polyethylene plastic, not much unlike the you know, H, uh, UHM WPE rope that this is made from, okay? So we've got those, and also, we, so we've got them in two versions. One is, um, just a slip over sleeve, like that. Right, slips over the soft shackle. The other one is got Velcro on it, okay? Now, um, that's for using, using that with your recover, your winch extension ropes. I'll show you that here. Dead man, this is the other one from my truck. We've got to put that back. We've got new ones here. We were out of stock for a little while. We've got dead man in stock again. So we've got those. And we can also sell winch rope by the meter, okay? We've got uh, the yellow rope, which is uh, 9.6 tonne breaking strain as a single pull rope, and also the green, which is a 11.5 mil, so 12 mil rope, 10 mil rope, pretty much 12 tonne breaking strain, 10 tonne breaking strain. 
and we've got the uh, that's also to show you um, where you put your uh, synthetic rope spool to hook up to your um, winch hook right eh? so that goes in there so you can come in here and we can cut off for you you know say 25 30 meters of winch extension or winch rope and we can sell that we've got a hot knife here um, price are on the website we can do that for you if you like this is also some new rope we've got we're just uh, using now Chinese rope but in a red color okay so it's um, just I really like this color actually we've got uh, soft shackles I'm just waiting for the sleeves to be made from the girls up in canvas so we've got red soft shackles we've got a, uh, a lighter bridle so the normal bridles are 12 mil okay these bridles are 10 mil but for a Hilux smaller vehicles you know really you're not going to break that either so we've got the bridles and we've got the winch extension rope so these are very important if you're going to do a double line pull you might have 25 30 meters of winch rope okay you can't unspool the whole lot of it you need to leave a few meters on there at least but as soon as you start using one of these which is recommended because then it you know halves the pressure on your winch for example um, you're losing half the length of your winch now there's not very often that a tree is within 12 meters of of where you get stuck right eh? so in that case you really need a winch extension rope and we've got 20 meters and 10 meters right the 20 meters is probably the best one very handy to have the 10 as well but this one here, if you looped it around or doubled it over, then it goes back to 10 as well. And the other advantage with this, as opposed to a strap, one, it rolls up very nice. It's the same material as this. If you, if you broke a strap, and people do break straps, I know a guy who went to the Simpson the other day, he broke two winch extension straps trying to winch through Air uh, Lake, uh, Air Creek, right? And broke two of them. Now, you really gotta throw them away. If you break this rope, you can repair it with the Back 55 fast speed, okay? If you got one of those, you can repair this rope and it's probably 95% as strong once it's repaired, right? So you can keep using it. I've shown that on video. We've, I've, I've cut this, repaired it and tested it and it still pulls 95% of the strength. So don't quote me on that, but roughly that, right? Now, the other thing with this, as opposed to a strap, you can run it through your windstring if you need to, right? So depending on how it's set up, you can of course pull a soft shuckle through like this will run through a, a, a snatch ring if needed. Um, and of course, the only way or the best way, the only way really to join winch extension ropes up is with a soft shuckle, okay? Now, we've got all these rated as well, okay? So we've got a nice tag in here, 20 meters, 9.5 millimeter, rating 9.4 ton. Okay, so they're all tagged and with a bit of leather there, you can do them up if you like, keep them like that. Righto, so, And we've got the, yeah, same here, yellow and green. Uh, so the green is basically a little bit higher rated, the 12 mil, yellow is a 10. Um, and we've got the Australian bridle as well. Bridle's an awesome thing to have, okay? Um, and with these, right, they all come with a sleeve as well, right? So every uh, winch extension bridle comes with one of our sleeves, okay? So that just, um, protects your rope against wear. Um, guys, you gonna bring that DPOS in? Yeah, we've got one here. Yeah, bring it in. We're bringing it set up where it was, where it was before, right? Eh? So this is the rear area of the shop, heaps of room. Um, we've got uh, kitchens, drawers on display. Have a look at that in a sec. Oh yeah, we've got also our Australian made uh, tree trunk protector. Righto. So I've got that a uh, couple of sizes. And these are locally made and tested and branded drifter, right? So we've got those here. Um, yeah, I mean, a lot of people already got a tree trunk, but these are an Australian made one and they're not expensive either. So those and the snatch ropes. We use these a lot on the Simpson. Uh, a stack of times. These, they stretch better than a standard snatch strap. Uh, really good quality gear. So that's the Bubba Rope Renegade. How you going, Craigie? Good, mate. How you doing? Good, mate. You know what you're doing there? Yeah. Yep. So, uh, yeah, tell you what, Craigie's been brilliant because setting up this whole shop, 
things like little boxes and all this stuff you see that we've made for our displays has uh, been a big thing. So Creek has been a big part of that, getting all their gear made up for us very quickly. And um, yeah, just a little bit down on that end, Creaky. Just drop it down a little bit. So we've got here a nice display. One of our biggest sellers is the Snow Peak Hexa Evo Pro, which is up here. Changes the way you camp. Always been a popular seller. And uh, that's on display here. You can see the size of it, the quality. And yeah, this is the setup we use on the uh, Simpson trip. So we've got Snow Peak, Fire Pit, Pizza Oven, Jacaro Table, the Simpson benches. This is a Uniflame large table, but you can see it still works really well with the Jacaro table. So all this on display. The uh, Ozpit as well, we've got that here. It's very popular, the Ozpit. The little lights, I've shown you these a few times, so those. Uh, we've got some couple of paper towel holders. So paper towel holders are something we've always struggled with, haven't really had anything on this, uh, for sale. This is one from Snow Peak. All right, so just pretty simple. Just been released, it goes on there really easy. Look at that. Now that then hooks on with any of the Snow Peak products. So if you go on there, on the iron grill table. And the other one we've got is the little drifter one. Again, I'm using, um, you can just hook this onto anything. The legs on the table, on a drifter table. Um, that's just a coffee bag, basically, uh, with um, some little Velcro on top. Just fits the paper towel perfectly, right? So, the good thing about that too is if it's, you know, the dew at night, um, it's a little bit more protected as well. So if it's raining and rain's blowing in or there's dew, you can protect it a little bit more with that as well. Nothing worse than damp paper towel. We've got our very popular Weber windshields. Okay, So the wind, Weber's have got a problem with, with the wind. A lot of people are using them. It's a double folding windshield. Look at that. Very light, aluminium. And that goes also with a, a bag, a heavy duty bag for the Weber. So that's our Weber kit. With, uh, selling a stack of those. We've got the gas in just the right spot, a little cutout for the gas, and a very nice uh, equipment bag, um, heavy duty material, 12 ounce canvas. So we sell them as a kit, but they're here in stock. Um, let's have a quick look at this before Creaky takes off. How are you, mate? Thank, Thank you, you for that. No so, what's this one? A little. This is a DCK, a drifter camping kitchen. Oh, uh, yeah. Have you done a video on these yet? I think they're in a video, and these ones have got a carpeted finish on it, like a carpet. Oh, nice. They're all carpeted around the outside. The outside of the so, same footprint as a car back, but a little bit taller? Yeah, a little bit taller. That's yeah. right. Nice, so the pump goes in there. Pump in there. Yeah, awesome. Basin, awesome. Little storage drawer, couple nice. of pigeon holes to fit all I mean, the car back kitchen's made certain heights on going drawers, but a lot Correct. of time people put them on top, and you've got more room as well. So. Yeah. That's, um, we see a lot of these going, yeah, to uh, something that's got a drawer set and then a little mm. kitchen as well and yeah, they pop that in on top of the drawer set yeah. maybe next to a fridge. And that's a fixed piece there, but if you've got a two burner stove, you can still get your knobs there really easy, can't yeah. you? So just get down inside and it's dust. important for us to sometimes to put that fixed piece in there for strength, okay? And yeah, the, the knobs are fine anyway, there's no worries to get in there. Easy access. And DPOS, so we're struggling to keep stock of these, so every yeah. time we bring one down it's sold. And, um, that's great. Which is good, dear. It's a good part of the shop. You know, you can see the kitchens and uh, they're here available to take. So that's a great kitchen that we've had for a long time. Um, yeah, right over. We whipped that up, so thanks for bringing that down. No trouble. Uh, the little car back. And um, yeah, so we've pretty much got, and we've got the kitchen in the trailer as well. So yeah. we've got a storage box, our DPO. This is DPOS, but it's got the return if they want to see the DPOR. So we've got the car backs. Yep. A couple of little kitchens, so we've pretty much got the full range here, haven't we? Yeah, little portable ones, like this little small travel yep. kitchen. Yep. And um, we've got your cards here as well, so people want to come and have a look at the shop, that you can grab one of your business cards, email creaky, and um, you know we make these up all the time. So, righto, ready to get back to work, mate? I'll be back to work. Thanks, buddy. No worries. Talk to you. See when are we doing the next video? As everyone's asking, when's the next creaky video? Oh, we're going to do one soon. Can we do like a, um, had a lot of requests for a moustache? Um, Stash grooming, video. grooming video. You I can could show do that. You how to do that. Jake probably needs a bit of that. Yeah. <laughs> get, get him tidied up. <laughs> well, I have to figure out uh, a new one for you. Yep. Must be another kitchen we haven't done before. Oh, should should be. Yeah. If not, we'll make one. And while Jake's here for the next few weeks, we'll do another one. Absolutely. 
All right, mate, thank you. Sure, see, see you. Yes, yeah, so we've got to look at the Oz tent yet. Here's our trailer. Um, this is a standard independent walk up hardtop trailer, it's the most popular model. Um, we've got some brochures on it, but it's all here on display. Brand new one. You can climb up and down, have a look inside, see the awning, the kitchen, everything. So it's all here. Fridge, the kitchen, <coughs> we've shown you these plenty of times. All the iron grill table. This is a Steve Fuller uh, coffee setup. And, um, you know, beautiful gear, the iron grill table stuff. Lots of uh, features, lots of accessories. So it's really nice to have all that here on display. You can have a look, see how it all works. A um, few more little bits and pieces of the Snow Peak gear here. So have a quick check out the Ossent Jake. We've got the bunker. All right, bunker and the bunker bag is very popular. This is a new bunker as well. So one of the issues with the bunkers, you know, if you, you can, uh, it's very fine mozzie mesh, okay? Midgy mesh, very fine. If you damage that, you know, then your sort of bunkers, you know, you can patch it, I suppose. But on the new one, what they've done very clever, they've put a zip in here. So if you have damaged this muslin area, you can simply zip it out and buy a new one, which is not expensive. So a great new feature of the new bunkers is a really clever idea, and the new ones have got that. It's really good. All right, we've got the Austin RX4 set up. The RX4 is... A slightly different material. We've shown you this before on a video, so you can check that video out. It goes in depth, but it's uh, fireproof material made for America or for su uh, suitable for sale in America. They need fireproof material. Uh, it's a little bit different. Same styling, and also the RX 4, 3, 4, or 5 has got the, the bucket floor, so a zip in floor. Zips on really easy, comes with all the walls. It's a little bit more expensive, but comparison, if you looked at adding all the walls, it's, it's a m much better value. So, a lot of people are like like to have the floor, and you know it's a beautiful tent. Comes the whole everything you see here in the Oz tent all ready to go. Um, works great with the little travel kitchens, the small drifter kitchens that Creaky's been showing, and you've got also our um, LED light clip-ons. I'll show you more of that in a sec. So that's a we've got some great setups with that. Also with the RX, you've got the um, the little. Uh, I call it a sky dome, right? So if you don't have the fly on, you can have the uh, internal sky dome. We've got stretchers, um, the ARB sleeping bag, and the ever popular Snow Peak sleeping bag. Also got a lot of the. Yeah, this is another little Uniflame kitchen. Folds up very small. Um, yeah, great little folding uh, portable kitchen that with a little water tank. So they're pretty cool. Also, this is a new stove. This is a Primus, uh, let's see there, Kinjia, two burner gas stove. All right, runs off the, um, that'd be like a Coleman style gas. It runs off those. And you can refill these too. There is a little fitting you can get that you can refill these. All right, but this, it's a beautiful stove. We're selling a lot of them, right? So, it's small, it's very compact. Um, and, That. So quite a small, thin stove. And you lift it up. Right? Yeah, good quality little stove. Um, so we're selling a lot of those there on display here. All right. We've got all four of the Helinox chairs. Right, you come and sit in those, try them out. You know, that's what they pack down to. They weigh about 200 grams, so not cheap, very high quality. If you're struggling for space and weight, these are the go. They're very comfortable. Right, eh? And um, now they take a little bit of assembly, it doesn't take long, but these are a popular chair. Anybody who buys one of these absolutely loves them. Snow Peak chairs, the red chair for us has always been a big seller. Okay, Snow Peak. All right, very simple, like a director's chair. Okay, beautiful color. This is a low director's chair, so the same, but a little bit lower, or like a low chair. So we've got these in stock as well now. Folds up the same. All right, getting through it, got a bit of stock down here. LED light poles, okay? So we'll do another video showing more about that later on.
new pillow. We're making all these up ourselves at Drifter headquarters. And this is our clip-on LED light pole, okay? So we manufacture these ourselves. This is Australian aluminium, right from Superpeg. They supply the aluminium tubing, which is the same as their tent poles. We get this uh, CNC routed out by Lovells in Newcastle, and then we assemble the lights, okay? Basically what we're doing is getting one of these lights um, and you know, installing it inside there, all the fittings and everything. And as you can see, dual color, okay? The, the orange or the amber works very well to stop the bugs and uh, all, all the accessories are dimmable. All right, so these are the magnetic ones. All right, so you can, uh, they're magnetic and you get all the different light poles. These are great for the uh, big rapid wing or the square back awnings, okay? They fit really well, the one meter ones. You've got uh, 650s and the 450s, so uh, a good range of those. And now we've got a big range as well of the now these are the world's only power pole, okay? So we've got them branded really nice, the Drifter Power Pole. Okay, we're making these under license from the owner of the, the patent. And uh, so we've got a Drifter Power Pole, the standard size, the long ones, okay? These are great for the Oz tents. And we've also got a range of uh, crab claws. So that would work really well in the Oz tent, okay? Like we've got set up there. The thing with LED lights, you want it over the top of you if you can, so, so it doesn't create a shadow, okay? So sort of in front of you and over the top. So spreader bars are the ideal place, and look at that, we've got the Drifter Power Pole now with, as a spreader bar uh, with those. So that's really good, different sizes. We've got all the accessories here, dimmers, splitters, uh, the, the, the packs, the um, SIG packs, extensions, everything's here. And we're making those all awesome new Australian made product, uh, all Australian made. So the lights, of course, are from, they're imported from China. The only place you can get LED lights from are China these days. But yeah, really cool product. Um, got these really nice uh, pictures up, you can see, out the back of the top. So um, yeah, just a nice environment out here, plenty of room to look around. Got some kick-ass gear as well, so these are only available in store at the moment in Brendale and at our Gloucester HQ store. Um, but if you need something and you've got an order in the system, you're welcome to ring us up, the store or our dispatch or any one of our staff, and we can combine this with your order if we're getting an order sent out. So the very popular uh, flaps folding solar panel. Okay, kick-ass has done an amazing job with this panel. And uh, this is a 200 watt. One thing I really like about this panel is, uh, yes, they're calling it super thin. It's uh, not bulky. It's got very good stands, okay? We've had the projector ones for a while, but the stands have been crap on them. Take a lot of mucking around. These are just all, look at that, ready to go. And the other big thing, is a great feature is, okay, here's your uh, solar regulator. All right, so if we plug that in there, we, the power's going through the regulator, so that's regulated, okay? If you take that out, all right, and you um, plug your lead directly into here, all right, that's now unregulated. So you can regulate, unregulate your power yourself very easily, and that's important to do because if you're running a DC-DC on your caravan or your trailer, uh, depending on the type of DC-DC, whether you want regulated or unregulated. Basically, most DC-DCs have got solar input, and you can't regulate your solar twice. So that's a great feature of these panels, all right? Um, yeah, very nice coating on them. <coughs> a yeah, very nice panel. They come in a really good bag, to be honest. It is a good bag. We've got three versions, the 150, the 200, and the 300. The bag's very good, okay? In terms of, uh, you know, bags, they've done a really good job. But, you know, also, uh, I've just made this one up, which is... You know, solar panels are a big investment, really. And so we've got an option. This is a thing that we do really well at Drifter is, um, you know, upgrade bags. So we've got a, a padded boot liner bag, all right? And the other thing is you've got all your, where is it, all your leads.
right, so this is what comes with your, your solar panel, right? You've got your Anderson plugs, your extension, your alligator clips, all that there. And that would normally go inside here, okay? All right. Now, what I've done, and also you've got an extra five meter extension. So, quite important to have one of those too. In my vehicle, all that'll fit in there, okay? But in my vehicle, I want to pack that flat in the back of my truck, and I still want to be able to put things on top of it. Now, it's okay to pack on top as long as you pack carefully, and not something too heavy, all right? So, you know, some chairs or something would be okay. This is a padded bag. But you can't pack anything on top if it's like that there, because that's going to, of course, push down and possibly damage the panel. So, what I've done is made that removable. So, I've got all my gear in there. I can store that separately, and I can flat pack on top of my solar panel, because, you know, this is hard to pack on top of something, and it's, you know, going to be very careful packing underneath something. So with this removed, you can stick it back on again. It allows you to flat pack gear, you know, some flat chairs or something, or there's gear that you can put on top. It's not going to worry it. So that's a little feature that we've added as well. Works really well for myself. All right, so we've got the bags, the three different panels, the kick-ass fridge, very nice fridge. People getting into these, okay, you've done a great job with the fridge, lots of features. You've got USB down the front here. Some features that you know people just haven't thought of before. So that's one of the advantages or strengths of Kickass. They've got a lot of great features that you know they put a lot of thought into their products. The lithium power pack, okay. And uh, so we've just got those as well. Great little portable power pack. Run your fridge or run your lights, run anything you like. So that's here available. And this is a cool product as well. I really like this. I'm going to start using this. So this is a little uh, shower kit. Okay. So, thing with a portable shower kit, you plug that on there. Right. You've got a lead and a shower hose. Now the that's got a little lithium battery inside. So you just literally drop that in a bucket of water, turn it on, and uh, like that. So you recharge this here itself. So you're not having to run a 12 volt lead or something back out to your vehicle, which is always a problem. So great little kit. And if you're down the beach, just simply down the beach with your, your kids, right, and you've got a bit of water, and you take a collapsible bucket, right, you can just take one of those. You can see how small it is. Collapsible bucket, and anywhere you are, you can just have a quick fresh water shower. So I think they're a great little item. Um, All right, what else have we got? It's got drawers. Okay, so there's two sets of drawers here. Our um, three-in-one combo, the Beachy's designed up. We've got an ARB fridge, we've got the alley boxes, all the drawers here. And we've got the easy slide, drop slide as well. So you can come and have a play with that. And the Simo trailer. So this is going to be our higher trailer. Just move that out a little bit. All right, so the Simo trailer, the Simo trailer is here. Come and have a look at it. It's got the new X cover on top, so me and Jake are going to do a video on that very soon. Okay, show you how that works. This trailer is for hire, um, and you can come and hire that. You know, pick it up from Gloucester Friday afternoon, bring it back Sunday afternoon, Monday. Uh, although we're only open till two or three o'clock on Sundays, but you can hire this trailer, and uh, perfect place to use it in. Uh, in Gloucester, around Gloucester and Barrington Tops. All right, some of the toilet accessories. And here's a really cool bag. This is our stone guard bag, all right? So this is the same uh, size, shape as the tailgate bag. All right, it goes on the, the tailgate of twin cabs. But this one has got, without the extra padding on the back, and it fits onto the stone guard, right? Either this side or the back side, right? So it fits on any stone guard. And this one's got the two the twin um, liners, okay? The big thing with these is you've got the liners, all right? So what you can do, you know, you get to the rubbish bin, pull it out, and chuck that rubbish out, throw your liner back in there, a waterproof liner, all right? So you don't want to be, wherever it's on the, on the wheel of your trailer, all right? Same thing, you don't want to be pulling all that off every time you want to empty it, okay? Just open it up. Alright, there's a liner inside, you rip that liner out, 
and you can empty it very easily. It's so good, it's such a good idea. And now I've had the idea of having twin liners so you can put you know, bottles and cans in one and then food scraps in the other if you wanted to do that. So they're a great option. If you're ordering one of these bags, right, these are on the website. If you want the twin bags, right, they're interchangeable. Just ask in the comments section for the twin bag and the twin liners. We'll do that for the same price, okay? It's not a lot of extra work for us, so we're, gonna do, we're not going to charge extra for the twin liners. Okay, the en suites, beautiful hard shell rooftop tents there. Everyone can come and have a bit of a look. We've got shop staff that Mark knows all about them. And you can come and uh, have a bit of a play, see how you go getting up and down. Got the big mattress inside, handrail, so. Yeah, well I think that pretty much covers everything we've got here in the Drift HQ store. We're in the main street of Gloucester. We're open every day, okay? So this is a beautiful place, Gloucester. You can bring your caravan in here. You can camp. We've got caravan parks just across the road there. It's a caravan park in town, but it's just like a bush camp, right? There's a stack of room. It's right on the river. Kids can go and have a swim in the river. Now it feels like, you know, a bush camping ground. So it's not a true caravan park, you know. It doesn't feel like a true caravan park. There's heaps of room. It's just across the road there. You've got a massive park. You've got a beautiful kids' playground right out the back here. Uh, you've got the whole Gloucester River runs in the park just down here as well. There's heaps to do here. It's a beautiful place to hang around. And uh, we are open every day, right? So seven days a week. Come and check us out. Have a good look around. Come and enjoy the beautiful Gloucester and our surroundings, the mountains, the rivers, and uh, come and say good day. Right on. Thank you.